Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am on the Blackpool Promenade. A bit of a breezy Blackpool Promenade. It's all gone very dark. I'm filming this video at around about 7 p.m. on Friday the 20th of December. Christmas is not too far away. But anyway, we've got a bit of a clear sky tonight, folks. Yes, and there's a bit of a planet show on at the moment in December. So if you're watching this video at any other time, the planets might be in different positions because they're always switching different positions because obviously everything is orbiting around the sun at a different distance. So we're the third rock from the sun. We've got Mercury, the closest, and you've got Venus. In fact, can you see that bright speck? Not sure if it's that one. Oh, that one. It's that one there. That's an oil rig, that one. <laughs> That's an oil rig. But you see that speck there behind me? That's actually Venus, yeah. So there you go. That's one of the inner planets along with Mercury. And uh, you can see Venus. And I'll be pointing out all the planets that you can see at the moment in this video. Seeing as we've got a clear patch, I thought I'd come out and have a look. We don't get too many clear patches. And uh, I noticed Venus, I thought, because look at it over, it's just shining so, so bright. And it's a lot lower down now than it was at sunset. It was fairly high up at sunset, actually. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll show you all the planets, starting with Venus, and then I'll pan around. This is looking towards the south, sort of the southwest, by the way. And as I turn around, we're now looking towards the south. So you might see a glow down there. That's looking towards, that's actually the glow of Southport. And Merseyside, that glow down there. Lydon St. Anne's that way as well. I'll tell you about all the planets we can see. We can even see Saturn somewhere up there. You might not be able to see it at the moment. But if I turn around this way, you might be able to see another speck up there. Can you see that? That's Jupiter, the king of planets. So, and also, not only that, but I'm kind of hoping that we'll get to see Mars as well. But Mars is going to be quite low because it's still a little bit early in the evening and Mars doesn't get up until a little bit later. But I'm half expecting Mars to rise somewhere over that street. Oh, we've got flashing lights over there. It's kicking off in black portion, really say that. <laughs> but hopefully we might even get um, a glimpse of Mars if you hang on. So I'll turn the camera around now and I'll show you all the planets and I'll talk about them as I go along. Can you hear the roar of the sea? I've got my camera here as well, look. I've got a big lens on there. If I manage to get any decent pictures of the planets, I'll show you. So anyway, we'll start off by looking this way. Just listen to the sea. Wow. So that over there is the planet Venus. Now Venus is the second planet out from the sun and it's also the hottest planet as well. It's got a runaway greenhouse effect on it. Do you know that a day on Venus lasts longer than a year? Because Venus orbits the sun in around about 224 days, yet it rotates in around about 240 odd days. So therefore, a day on Venus is longer than a year. Isn't that amazing? Hey, did you know that? Well, there you go. I'll just show you down there. That's an oil rig. In fact, I'll show you a close-up of the oil rig. It's absolutely massive. I should say gas rig. It's not really an oil rig. Gas rig is more uh, is more um, uh, accurate to what that is. It's off the coast of Wales, that. And you can see that light pollution over there that I'm talking about. That's, that's one heck of a light dome over there. And most of that is coming from Southport and Merseyside, Liverpool, and that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm going to pan the camera up a bit now. And we're going to look straight above that gas rig there. And hopefully, um, you might be able to see a speck on the screen now. Funny enough, I, I can't see it on my... Ah, there it is. Can you see that? That there is the planet Saturn. That's the ringed planet that you're looking at there now. Yep. And a fact about Saturn at the moment. Obviously, Saturn is one of the, the planets that's quite far out. It's a gas giant planet. And currently the rings, you know the rings that go around the planet? They are currently almost edge on, yeah? They're almost, almost edge on, the rings. Which means that you're looking straight along the, uh, the ring plane. So it's very, it's quite difficult to actually see the rings of Saturn at the moment because of the way that the, uh, 
the rings are, are play. I'll just pan down. I'm not sure if I lost Saturn there, but we'll we'll see if we can get it back on again. It's quite difficult to see on this small screen of mine. But it is there, Saturn, and that's looking a little bit further towards the south than Venus. I think we've lost Venus now, it's gone into the cloud. But I'm going to pan this way now. We're look at, looking towards, roughly looking towards the south there, the big massive light dome. And I had to wait for the clouds to clear. I was cursing before because the cloud, it was nice and clear when it came out and then it clouded over and it was, I was really annoyed. But anyway, we cannot miss Jupiter. Look at that. So we've got the, that's, that road over there is called Squires Gate Lane, by the way. It's a border between Blackpool and St. Anne's. But as we look up now, look at that. You can see Jupiter. Oh, that is Jupiter. And you know what? I've just taken a picture using my Panasonic camera with a 300 millimeter lens on it. Nothing too special. And I've managed to get a picture, this picture. Look at this picture now. I've managed to get a couple of the moons. So at the moment, it appears as though you can see a couple of the moons. Maybe the other moons are passing the surface. I don't know. One of the moons could be behind it. I'm not too sure. But this is the picture I got. And I got that by just using a... Uh, a 300 millimeter lens yeah nothing special so there you go it's a great planet show folks yeah we've got venus saturn jupiter and hopefully i might need to wait a little bit long i might even need to move somewhere else but somewhere over there looking towards the east we're going to get mars coming up and you cannot mistake mars as well because it's it's a red planet it's it's orange it's got an orange look to it I might need to either wait for it to come up or I might need to move somewhere else where I can get a, a flatter horizon over there. So there you go, that's the Great Planet Show, December 2024. Well, how about that? Now, there are other planets as well, of course. There's Mercury, but Mercury is very difficult to see. But I actually think that Mercury is on the other side of the sun, which means that you're going to see Mercury before the sunrise. So Mercury is visible, but you'd have to be up before dawn to get to see Mercury. It's also quite a difficult planet to spot as well. And we've also got the other gas giant planets such as Uranus and Neptune. Now, I think there, I know, I, I know one of them is definitely visible, but you need to have binoculars to see those planets. So the only planets that you can actually see by eye are Mercury, Venus, which we saw tonight, Saturn, which we also saw, and also, can we get it? Jupiter and Mars. Now, the, all the other planets are a little bit too faint to see with the naked eye. You'd need to have binoculars or you'd need to have a telescope. So there you go. It's a bit of a quick video for you. Uh, but I did notice it was nice and clear before. The great planet show. Yeah, it's, they do hype these things up in, in the media sometimes. They say, oh, you can see all these planets in a row. But you, and they mention Uranus and Neptune, which you can't actually see with the naked eye so they do pick these things up so there are actually more planets up there that are that are you can see if you have binoculars but you can't see them without so we get to sort of see venus towards the southwest that's following the sun after sunset look out for it it's the brightest planet in the sky and then we also had saturn which was a little bit further up so left hand side nowhere near as bright as venus or as jupiter but still reasonably bright and a, and a decent uh, brightness to be able to see and if you've got binoculars you get a nice view of saturn and of course over here the king of planets there it is jupiter and uh, we're missing out mars so um i tell you what i'm gonna i'm gonna move from here because i'm currently i'm actually currently just by the um the tram station at Stargate in Blackpool. This is where I am. I've come down here and right on the south part of the promenade. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Because my horizon towards the east where Mars will be rising, rising any time now is a little bit uh, blocked, I'm gonna move somewhere else so that we can get to see, hopefully get to see Mars rising. That should look pretty spectacular. Right, you're not gonna believe this, but I've actually come to the airport. Yes, I'm now at Blackpool Airport. This is the Star Bus here. I've just parked up and I'm on the, the western side of the airport here, yeah. So right at the perim perimeter gate, I hope I don't get uh, <laughs> don't arouse security by uh, standing around the edge here with a light shining on me, talking to a camera. But anyway, just over there, 
we can see some lights up. that's all the way the main hangars are we've got some hangars over here as well look at that there big massive you get a cracking view of the, the apron here the runway is somewhere around the back you don't get a great view of the runway from here but you can see the big planes coming in when they come in around here there's a fuel truck just over there but i can see mars from here because we've got a nice flat horizon mars is you see where that fuel truck is behind me i'll turn the camera around and show you properly but i can see mars the red planet and it really does look red or like a sort of orangey color you cannot mistake mars it's low down at the moment so at the moment as of now time sensitive video remember if you're watching this at another time they're going to be in different positions probably but if you're watching this in december 2024 the planets we can see are venus saturn jupiter and mars and we can see them all theoretically at the same time i'm at a mid latitude 53 degrees north might be different where you are but at the moment venus has actually disappeared now it's gone below a cloud but it's still visible i want to show you this screen from solarium which shows you at this time right now around about quarter past seven now as i'm filming this and we can actually see venus saturn jupiter and mars all at once but you do if you want to see them all at once you do need to have a i had to come over here to the airport to see mars because it was a bit too low down from where i was before anyway enough of my waffling i'm going to turn the camera around and show you mars okay check it out i've just driven in here there's like a little bit of a car park and check this out there's a massive hangar there by the way they used to have a vulcan bomber sat outside the front of that one was a vulcan bomber yeah sat out there for years and, until it all rusted away to bits yeah but anyway uh, i'll just show you through here we've got a gap just above the fence can you see over there in the distance look at that that is mars i'll just zoom in for you so you can see it. the red planet i'll see if i can get a picture with my camera so that you can see it better but there you go folks we got to see all those planets and as you can see if i point up this way you can see we are a little bit hampered by cloud in fact i can see orion rising over there orion i could see orion a minute ago but the cloud has just come over but anyway we've got another massive hangar there's so many hangars here at blackpool you know look at that one there look and uh, i'm afraid this is where we were looking before we were looking towards the south and sort of the south like you can see the cloud has affected the sky venus i'm afraid is actually it's not set just yet but it's actually gone too low from here we can't see venus so uh, there you go uh, i'll show you a close-up of mars so there's mars there and you can really see the color of it as well in fact i'll show you a still photograph that i took using the same technique i stuck the camera on top of the the gate and I took a, a half second exposure at ISO 1000 and I managed to get this picture here check it out look at that I'll zoom in on the planet for you so you can see the color just look at that isn't it amazing the planet Mars the red planet it really really does look red as well how about that absolutely amazing Oof. now then well that was a little bit of uh, a rush video uh, folks um yeah i just noticed it was clear before i saw venus really really bright when it was much higher up as well just after sunset and i thought you know what that looks so so bright and i've got to see if i can uh, get a picture of it or, or or something like that but i ended up doing a video because i realized that when i looked on stellarium that you could see venus saturn jupiter and if you waited until about seven o'clock which is around about the time that i'm filming this video you could actually see all of those planets at the same time kind of depends on where you are as well a little bit i'm at 53 degrees north in the northern hemisphere so it is a little bit time sensitive this video but still i got to speak a little bit about the planets all the differences about the planets you know the the fact that venus a day on venus lasts longer than a year isn't that absolutely amazing and don't forget that the rings of saturn will be like that from march i think it's march next year that they're actually closing the rings are closing so you'll be looking right along the plane of the rings so you might not even be able to see the rings of saturn from april or march next year because they'll be like that and then of course we got to see jupiter as well with a couple of moons i think some of the other moons there's four Gal galilean moons and i think two of them are hiding from us and then we got to see the red planet itself mars and it really does look red doesn't it so there you go a little bit on the fly this video but i hope you learned something 
and I will see you again on the next video. Get yourself out there and see if you can see any of these planets that we saw here in this video. And don't forget to keep looking up.